Now back to our creature feature, Aliens, starring Sigourney Weaver. No! Don't go back for that stupid cat! This is no time for a snack! <laughs> Thanks. Mm. I had fun watching you work. You must get writer's cramp. You know, I had no idea that Donald Trump's book was quite so popular. Well, good night. I, I really had a nice time. Until tomorrow. <laughs> good night. Alf, you scared me. <laughs> what are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? What happened to Randy? That wasn't Randy. That was someone else. Yeah, someone who looks like a certain aging substitute novelist who shall remain last nameless. <laughs> OK, so it was Eddie. He just happened to be at the party, see? Yeah, yeah, and I just fell off the garbanzo truck. Come on, this is the old Alpha. What gives? I haven't really been dating Randy. I've only been tutoring him for an hour in English each night and then going to meet Eddie. An hour a night? That's barely enough time for Randy to turn his book right side up. Oh, please don't tell Mom and Dad about this yet, OK? I know they'll like Eddie. They just need some time to adjust. Don't tell them. You want me to lie? No. No, you don't have to lie. Just don't bring it up. That's not lying. Egad. What a loophole. <laughs> it's not like I'm never going to tell them. I just, I need to wait for the right moment. You know, like when they were in a really, really good mood? Yeah, well, let me know when that happens. And I'll tell him about the untimely demise of Kate's porcelain ballerina. You broke mom's porcelain ballerina? Yeah. We were dancing the pas de deux from Swan Lake, and I dropped her in the toilet. <laughs> well, hello, Randy. Hey. Where's Lynn? Huh? Our daughter, Lynn, isn't she with you? <laughs> no. She said she was going over to your house. Oh, OK. <laughs> What's going on? I, I don't know. You, you think there could have been a mix-up between them? Well, honey, if it was just a mix-up, she'd be home by now or call at least. Well, what do you think? You think I should go look for her? Well, honey, where would you look? Who knows where she could have gone? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's not like Lynn to change her plans and not call us. Yeah. Wait a minute. You're getting carried away. Lynn's just fine. How do you know? I can't tell you. I said I wouldn't tell you. Tell us what? That Lynn seeing Eddie. <laughs> Eddie? You tricked me. She has been lying to us. Not exactly. It's a loophole. I can't believe that Lynn would do something like this. Well, look at the bright side. At least she's dating a guy with a neck. Hi, everyone. You're grounded, lady. What for? Eddie. <laughs> Miss Lynn Tanner, paging Miss Lynn Tanner. Go away. I've just got to get a message to you. I don't want any messages from you. It's not from me. I'm just the bellhop. <laughs> it's from a friend of yours. It's not what you think. I'm really not a fink. You're the last person I'd hurt. 
I didn't mean to blurt it out. I've got a message from my so-called friend. Friends don't rat on friends. Guess this means no tip. 